Hello and welcome to our February uh, vlog. My name is Sabine, I'm the Community Engagement Officer and I am joined this month by Gary, our new Chief Executive Officer. Welcome Gary. Hi Sabine. Uh, now you hit the ground running I think, you, um, you started last week, uh, how's it been going so far? Yeah, well, the chair said to me that uh, I was jumping on a moving train. He just didn't tell me it was a bullet train. <laughs> so there's been a lot happening, as yes. there probably always is at the health service. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, it always impressed me how it's a small healthcare service, but there's just so much happening, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, met some terrific people so far um, who seem to be doing a really good job. So... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a vibrant little place. It is a vibrant little place, mm. yes, and we love it here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, um, I would say quite a few in the community would know you and have seen your, your route. Sure. Uh, but for those that don't, do you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself yeah, and sure, your background? Yeah, sure. So, um, so I moved to Timboon um, for work uh, as a paramedic. Uh, at the end of 2008. Yep. Um, so I've been living here and working here uh, for the balance of that period until just recently. Um, uh, I was uh, working as a, an area manager, um, so was uh, had some responsibility around this area <coughs> up until about the end of 2016 uh, when I w moved to a more central role uh, as the integrity officer for Ambulance Victoria. Um, and uh, you know, dealing with risk and a whole range of other issues. Um, uh, um, but uh, so that had amounted then to about 25 years of service. So um, they were probably tired of me, and I was probably tired of them. It was time for a career change, I think. So um, so that's what's uh, occurred, and um, you know, I'm really um, pleased about where I've ended up. So uh, I have three kids, as most of you all know. <coughs> Pardon me, and um, uh, Holly. Jamie and Finn, um, and uh, uh, wife Melissa, who's also a paramedic, uh, works over at Warrnambool. Um, we just live out um, on Colcott Street there, yep. above the rail trail. Um, beautiful view. Yeah, beautiful uh, spot. Yeah, um, and uh, you know, I've had my time in Timburn. I've been engaged in uh, a, few, a few different activities. I'm a member of the golf club and the, and the footy club. Um, I like my sport, and the kids have been in surf life saving and. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm sure that there are quite a few members of the community who uh, know who I am, but if they don't and they want to say hello when they see me out, then feel free. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's important as well, as you are a community member, you you would have uh, privately known the services and, and the needs in the community and working as ambulance officer as well. So that yeah. comes in very handy when you you kind of, yeah, uh, are the CEO and um, moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, ambulance obviously is an emergency service uh, um, and it responds to, to health incidents that are a bit on the edge and um, and I think that opens your eyes to um, where some of the gaps may be and, yep. and, uh, and I think that gives me a good entree to the service here to start thinking about uh, how we might close some of those gaps. So, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, that's really good. Uh, and um, so we're still working on the strategic plan. Uh, we, we're in the kind of almost the phase of finalising that to be sent to the department. Yeah, so, um, you know, I know um, <coughs> a lot of people don't find this the most exciting piece of work, no, but, no. Um, but the reality is it is, it is that. Uh, you know, we, we look at um, uh, what the service is going to look like in the next three years. Um, and into the future. So, um, so it is a, a critical piece of work. Um, the board have been working really hard on putting that together. Um, what I've seen so far, I'm really impressed by. Uh, I think it'll place us really well into the future. Um, you know, COVID's been a point in time that has um, highlighted uh, some of the shortcomings of the general health service. So um, I think one of the really good things about it that's come out and what I've seen in my very short time here so far has been the degree of collaboration between different health services, which probably hasn't yep. always been the case mm. over time. Um, there seems to be real energy around trying to work together yep. to get the best out of the limited resources that we have. Um, and so what that will mean is that um, you know, there might be changes to services, but the service to the community won't be diminished in no. any way. What you'll get is, you, you know, um, 
There might be certain health services will offer particular things and, and we here will offer what our, we consider to be our strengths. Uh, and, um, and I think that's a really sensible way for us to use those resources. Yeah, it's good to really, you know, instead of having that whole spread where you have to spread it out, yeah. uh, your yeah. knowledge and your expertise and, and your funding as well. Yes, that's uh, right. While you can more focus on, on the yeah. ones that are really needed and then yeah. uh, refer people through to yeah. the other ones. Because we've got still lots of great uh, health services in the area as well. Yeah. Well, I think, um, you know, uh, the medical world has become so specialised now that um, the, the notion of a jack of all trades mm. just doesn't work anymore. No. And so I think you need to double down on what you're very good at. And, yep. um, and we intend to do that and, uh, and develop those services uh, and work in a complementary way with the other health services around the area. So yep. um, that's certainly the message I've been getting from uh, when I've spoken to the other CEOs and the department. So. Yeah, and the, the community had some input in in yeah, strategic plan as well, so we've got yeah. quite a good feedback and yeah. that's been incorporated as much as possible. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned COVID still as well. Uh, we're all having a bit of COVID fatigue and yeah. uh, sick and tired of wearing masks and everything, but it's still very, very uh, a big necessity, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's critical for us here at the health service um, that we have um, a particular type of mask that uh, um, you know, uh, protects both our colleagues and our patients. Um, and uh, while the Chief Medical Officer for Australia continues to ask us to do that, we will do that. Yep. Um, <clears throat> out in the community, uh, uh, because it, you wouldn't consider it to be a sensitive uh, um, situation, uh, then people are, are, are more able um, to wear uh, surgical type masks or cloth type masks if that's all they've got. But we would still recommend <clears throat> those sorts of face coverings in environments where you need to be close to people. So yep. if you can't if you can't get the distance, you know, that sort of metre and a half away or you're not outside, then we would still encourage people to be wearing masks. Yep, yep, no, that's good advice. Um, and our AGM is coming up as well. Yeah. On the 20th, uh, which um, in a COVID safe way, we've decided to uh, to uh, have people in person yeah. uh, as well. It's at the Timmoon Golf Club. Yeah, so, um, uh, you know, I um, obviously haven't been involved in the, the last couple, which have been virtual, uh, other than, than watching from home. But um, uh, this will be our first in-person event for a while. And, uh, you know, we're obviously the staff who have gone through the virtual experience are, are quite looking forward to meeting members of the community again. So I'd encourage everyone in the community who's able to come to come along to the AGM and, yep. and learn about um, what's going on at the service and, uh, and see where we're, we're placed and uh, hear from um, certainly the chair and, and other board members and meet other board members who will all be there um, for the meeting. Um, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, Thank you so much, Gary, for uh, yeah having a chat with me and um, and getting for the community to get to know you. No worries. And uh, uh, thank you so much to the community for tuning in. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to continue to work together for a healthy community. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, mate.